those candles is that you have to identify them on the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame. Secondly, ensure that the candles are properly represented. Ensure you can identify these candles on the chart. Ensure they appear at zones, levels that give further confirmations. I've shown you those zones. So if you see the candle appearing at such zones, it gives you further confirmation. So this is these are the doji family members. We have the long-legged doji, the dragonfly, gravestone doji, the three of them. The fourth one is not part of our focus. So the dragonfly is a signal to buy massively. The gravestone is a signal to sell massively. The long-legged doji is a sign of indecision, but it tells you that the preceding trend is getting exhausted so try to know the preceding trend so the dragonfly and gravestone are reversals so if the preceding trend is selling it's going to take the buy and buy basal so th these are the pin bar family so at any point you hear pin bar these are the candles that are referred to these four candles are all at once called pin bar so it can be, it could be a hammer, hanging man, inverted hammer, shooting star, hanging man, and hammer look alike, but they appear at different positions. Same to inverted hammer and shooting star. So these are the position. The hammer is found after a downtrend, so it's a reversal candle. So we are targeting. So, the next, the inverted hammer and the shooting star. So, you can see that the inverted hammer looks exactly like the shooting star, but it's, it is after a preceding downtrend. So, at the low here, we are assuming that you are having a support zone, a demand zone, a support level, a support line. So it better confirms that the price was unable to close below, but it closed above the support level here. So this is shooting star at the top. So further confirmations will come by having a zone here, a resistance zone, a support level, a support line, as the case may be. Then tweezer buttons on top. So look very closely at them. You can see that they have the same shape. They have the same length of wicks. They are just the same. So the first one has um, the first one has um, the same sentiment as the preceding trend. In the freezer bottom, we are having a downtrend here, and then we are having a tweezer. We are having a cell candle. And this one takes the role of the reversal that we expect. Same is happening here, buy, buy, and sell. So watch out for these at the lower time frame. So the next is trend lines. So trend lines is used to monitor price breakout. So you must know how to utilize.